So I've been shooting with the Canon 6D for over a week now, and I've been flooded with questions ranging from its focusing systems to how it compares with other cameras. But the question I get the most is how does it compare to the 5D Mark II? And what I think is a lot of uh, photographers are considering what is Canon's entry level full frame camera? Is it now the 5D Mark II, which with rebates is about $1,800, or is it the new 6D, which runs about $2,100. Now I know that the prices on these cameras are going to change with time, it's a given, but what are you getting for this extra 300 bucks that you're investing in the 6D and which camera would I recommend? Well, it's really important for me to note that I've been shooting with the 5D Mark II for four years. Uh, for three of those years, it was my primary wedding and event camera. I love it, it is, a, it is for those three years, it was like the photography love of my life. Uh, I'm not ripping on the 5D Mark II. It's still an awesome camera. I still use it for diving. I have, I've invested a lot of money in diving equipment around the 5D Mark II. The short answer is, if you're considering those two cameras, you're gonna wanna go with the 6D. Now let me start with the reasons why. Number one is that central focusing square on the 6D, it is better. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons, but the main reasons is that, especially in low light, the 60 is about twice as fast as the 5D Mark II. It has almost a low light capability that is, just isn't there on the, on the 5D Mark II. Uh, the cross-type focusing requirement is also less stringent on the 6D. It requires a 5.6 lens. On the 5D Mark II, you have to put a 2.8 lens in order to get that cross-type focus square to, to work. I know it's probably a lot to go into. Uh, the second huge reason you're gonna want the 6D is its high ISO noise is very good. It's very clean. I've posted several images on my blog if you wanna see higher resolution examples. I'm very impressed with it. Even at 25,000 ISO, it's looking really, really nice. Now you are going to lose some, sh some sharpness as you increase the ISO on the 6D, but I, I do feel that those images are usable, whereas the ISO noise on most other cameras that I have right now, once you get over 6400, it becomes almost unusable because of noise. So very impressive on the ISO noise with the 6D. Another huge feature on the 6D is the Wi-Fi. This is absolutely killer. It's, I think it's a game changer. Uh, it allows you to connect your iPhone, your iPad, or your Android device to your camera. You can preview the exposure, you can change your exposure settings, you can focus, determine where to focus by touching on the screen. Uh, I have a video that will show you how to set it up already on YouTube. If that interests you, you want to check it out. But I love the Wi-Fi feature on the 6D. The 6D also has a number of other very interesting little features like built-in HDR. Granted, it's not killer HDR, but it's pretty good. You know, if you need quick HDR for non-moving subjects. I have noticed though that the GPS feature tends to drain the battery pretty quick. So if you are, you know, big on the GPS feature, pack a lot of extra batteries. For those of you who are primarily interested in the video features, I would still absolutely say go with the 6D. While the Moray is still pretty terrible in both cameras compared to the 5D Mark III, look at the ISO noise on the 6D compared to the 5D Mark II. Both cameras look pretty good up to about 3200, but anything over 3200 in the 6D really starts to show some amazing performance. Even compared to the 5D Mark III at 12,800, the 60s is still visibly cleaner.
Other video features on the 6D include support for the new STM lenses. We also have the video tracking, which is not found on the 5D Mark II. And we also have the new compression formats that are found on the 5D Mark III. How the actual quality of the 60s video compares to the 5D Mark III is a different matter, but I do think that the video quality is still a huge improvement over the 5D Mark II. Another question I'm getting is, is there anything that the 5D Mark II can do that the 6D cannot do? There are actually a few little features. Number one, the 5D Mark II uses a thumb joystick, whereas this is a directional pad. 5D Mark II can shoot at a max shutter speed of 1 8,000th of a second. Uh, the 5D Mark II takes a CF card instead of a, an SD card. I'm sure there's a couple other small little things, but that's for the most part about it. The 60s lighter, it's smaller. I actually really like the grip. It feels uh, more solid. I think people with smaller hands uh, would probably like the 60. <laughs> I don't know if it says anything if my hands are small. The gist of it is, is that the 60 can do just about anything the 5D Mark II can do. 5D Mark II can't do everything that the 60 can do, and I definitely think the extra money is worth the investment by far. If you're on the fence, try to make that 60 happen. In any event, if you do go with the 60, I have an excellent crash course that will show you how to set up the camera, and it'll show you how to take great images like a pro in no time, and you can order it from the following link.